I'm here tonight to appeal to the board's better judgment, integrity, and common sense regarding uh, the books that we've all been talking about, or most many of us have been talking about tonight. And uh, there's been a lot of comments about the appropriateness or inappropriateness of these books. I'm going to hold this up so that it can be seen clearly by anybody watching this. They can, they can hit this with their phone and they can look at, I think the number was about 150, what's the number? There are 85 books represented on this website, and it'll show you the content of those books. It will show you the words. We've shown you some of the words. It'll show you the pictures. Um, but uh, I, I want to, you know, I want to take a moment to talk about banning books, since that that comment has come up time and time and time again. I want to show you two books. These are two out of six books that have been banned just in the past two years. On March 2nd, 2021. On National Read Across America Day, a day that was established in 1998 by the uh, National Education uh, National Educators Association, the NEA, and on the birthday of Dr. Seuss. This is Dr. Seuss's birthday. On that day, the White House banned his entire catalog from being read on National Read Across America Day. And these two books, I've got, I, I bought these two books because I wanted to know what all the fuss was about. What's wrong with these books? Why should they be banned? Uh, I told you last time I was here, a couple of weeks ago, one was the word Dixie. They're talking about the song Dixie. The song Dixie is mentioned in this book. This book is banned because of the name of a song. This book, this was if I ran, ran the circus, by the way. This book, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. This book has been essentially banned because it has a picture. You can't see it here, but it's a picture of an Asian man, which was stereotypical in the day that this book was uh, created. It says, a Chinaman who eats with sticks. I'm showing this to you because the bar was set high to ban these books. If that's all it takes to ban Dr. Seuss, then I do not understand why the books that are on this website, <laughs> these are offensive. If this is offensive, the, the, the excuse was the content in these two books was offensive to some people. If you're not offended by what's on these books that these, these people here are complaining about that are on this website, would you? Uh, would, our next speaker is Julie Stivers, followed by Isaac Moore. I'd also like to remind folks 